Hey everyone, I have a quick word to release today and today's word is called Your God idea is the key to your future success. Your God idea is the key to your future success. And uh, this word is actually based on a vision I had and I just saw some keys or a key in the vision. And today's scripture reference is Deuteronomy 28 13 and it reads, and the Lord will make you the head and not the tail, and you shall only go up and not down. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you today, being careful to do them. So for many of you, the Lord is giving you divine instruction in your life. He's given you divine instruction. Um, for many of you, this could be to move to a new location. It could be to start a new business, to get into ministry, um, entrepreneurship. Uh, maybe he's calling you to start your own YouTube channel, your own um, platform online. And what the Holy Spirit's saying today is, you know, when you follow the Lord's instructions, whatever the Lord's calling you to do, that is the key to your future success in your kingdom assignment. You know, um, we can pray all day long um, that the Lord will, you know, prosper us and give us uh, abundance and help us in many areas of our lives. And a lot of times he will give you instructions. He will give you action items to take. And you know, it requires your faith to step out and in these uh, actions and to move forward in what the Lord's calling you to do in order for him to bless you. It's like a two way street, you know, like the Lord wants to bless you. He wants to prosper you. He wants to give you good gifts. But at the same time, he gives you instructions on how to be an active participant in this uh, assignment in order to achieve these things. And for many of you, um, you might have received these instructions and you're just nervous or you're fearful or you're not sure how you're gonna pay your bills. But if it's a God idea, the Lord is going to make sure that you're taken care of. He's gonna make sure that you have enough food, that you have clothing to wear. Um, it's just like the verse, um, he dresses the lilies of the valley, how much more will he care for you? I'm paraphrasing. <laughs> but you know, if you are stepping forward in faith and in the God idea the Lord has given you, you cannot fail. And the Lord is gonna take care of you. You're gonna be in Psalm 91 protection. You're gonna be in Abraham covenant with the Lord and he's going to take care of you. So I don't know who needs to hear this today, but there's somebody out there who um, the Lord has given divine instructions to in your life and you have a lot of fear. And for many of you, you need to pray, um, bind that spirit of fear in your life. It's it, in a lot of cases, it's a demonic entity trying to get in your head and to try to deter you from stepping into the Lord's perfect will for your life. Because the last thing the enemy wants is for you to step into the pages of the book written about you in heaven. It's, it's written in Psalm 139. So expect a lot of warfare. When you wa start walking in your purpose, you can expect a lot of warfare. It's a narrow path. It's not an easy walk, you guys. It's not easy. But I can tell you, if you stick to the narrow path, Keep your eyes on Jesus in every situation. He will see you through. He will see you through. The Lord will allow you to go through things so uh, you are learning endurance, perseverance, um, strength, faith. You know, I mean, look at the book of Job. Look at everything that Job went through. And then the Lord restored him even more than he had to start with. And many of you, when you step into your purpose, it's it's really part of the spiritual systems and models to go through a Job season, you know, because it's all part of the testing and it is very strenuous. It's very, it can be very challenging and you experience a lot of warfare and you, you'll hear from people in your life speaking against your dreams, your goals, what the God idea that he's given you. People will speak against it because the enemy's using them to keep you out of your purpose. So 
Don't listen to those voices. Block them out. You know the Lord's voice. It says in the word of God that my sheep know my voice in the book of John, I believe. So you need to just keep pushing forward. Don't share your business with everybody. And also be very careful and wary of people who, you know, if you just meet somebody and they're trying to get into your business way too quickly, just be, you know, set healthy boundaries with people around you. And, um, you know, don't be afraid to say no to people. You know, you need to protect your God idea, protect the divine strategy. You know, at the end of the day, um, Cassandra Mack released a word today that said others, it was something like, other people's opinions don't pay your bills. <laughs> the Lord is going to pay your bills, but you got to follow his divine instruction. So don't listen to other people's opinions who speak out against your word. And also be very careful about even other Christians like laying hands on you and praying for you and giving you prophetic words that don't align with what you know the Lord has spoken to you. You know, if, if this ever happens to you, then just go to the Lord in prayer and, and come out of agreement with it. Or in the moment, if someone tries to give you a prophetic word that you know is speaking out against what the Lord has spoken to you, just say, I'm not in agreement with that. I do not receive that. You know, you don't have to receive every prophetic word, especially when they're coming at you speaking against what you know the Lord has spoken to you. And, you know, you are not crazy. <laughs> you are just moving against the grain. I released another word um, about that yesterday. You're moving against the grain to fame. Like, you... When you break out of the world systems and models, Satan's matrix, you are going to come up against opposition. People will call you crazy. People will say you're losing your mind. People will say, um, you know, sometimes you, some of you might be getting sober. You might be um, quitting alcohol and drug use and getting delivered from the spirit of addiction. And then all of a sudden you'll have family members uh, questioning you or like, coming against you when you're you're making good healthy decisions in your life and all of a sudden there are people around you who got a little too comfortable with seeing you in that state you know and when you start rising above other people's perceptions of you that makes them very uncomfortable and so they try to start um sometimes just to put you back down into that place like crabs in a bucket but don't listen to it keep pursuing holiness and righteousness living a repentant lifestyle keep doing what the lord's calling you to do and you know i'm not sure who this message is for today but it will it will confirm something in your spirit whoever this is for so um just know that i pray for you all every day i pray that the right people receive these messages please continue to pray for me as well i appreciate all your prayers all of you who've partnered with the ministry financially i pray over every seed i couldn't do this without your help and your support here in the dominican republic and just know that when you're partnering with me you're partnering with what the lord is doing here in the dominican republic um, i've got several exciting things coming up in the in the coming months um, missions work uh, my my church in las vegas is sending a team here in february and we're going to be um, doing some site surveys for a missions trip later this year. I've started the Warrior Fellowship. Um, we had our second meeting last night and I'm going to start, um, probably start a Facebook page for that to make it public. So anyone who's in Punta Cana and English speaking and who would like to be, come be a part of that Bible study, on, uh, it's Thursday evenings at six o'clock, will be welcome to come join us for that. And um, you know, the Lord's just doing amazing things here. And so all of you who partner with me financially, just know that you're definitely a big part of what the Lord is doing here in the Dominican Republic. And I can tell you that the enemy is not happy about it because I have um, been going through a lot of spiritual attacks. But you know, I just keep my eyes on Jesus. I just 
continue to move forward. He's trained me for this assignment. He's trained me to combat the spiritual warfare. Um, and so I'm prepared for it. You know, it's never fun, but you know, thankfully the Lord has prepared me for this assignment. So just know that I love you all so much with the love of Christ and stay blessed.